Now we are waiting to learn whether the mother who killed her two children while allegedly performing an exorcism will win her insanity case or face four consecutive life sentences in prison. 31-year-old Zakia Avery entered a guilty plea today for the murder of her two toddlers and the attempted murder of two other children back in 2014. Stephanie Ramirez sat in on that hearing where she has learned there is an extensive clinical record of mental illness. Steph? Yeah, you know, in court, Zakia Avery's sister told the judge that there was an episode a few years ago where they were shopping and Avery started speaking English with an accent and told the family God allowed her to. Her sister laughed it on off then. Today in court, she cried at that reaction. Family members telling the judge there were signs. It's time to stop ignoring it because how many more children are going to have to be drowned in a bathtub? How many more babies are going to have to be thrown in rivers? How many more people are going to have to die by the hands of spouses before people wake up and realize that mental illness is a very big deal in this country? Kalia Brooks's plea to the public after her cousin, 31 year old Zakia Avery, entered a guilty plea Monday in the murder of her one and two year old. She's also charged with the attempted murder of her then five and eight year old, whose father said before survived and witnessed it all. Saw everything, man. Brooks ran out of the courtroom crying as a prosecutor recounted the gruesome details, but does not believe her cousin is criminally responsible. Not at all. I know that she was mentally unstable. It wasn't until, you know, the crime was committed that we realized like, oh my God, you know, there were always signs there. We just ignored them. Authorities arrested Avery and her live in friend, as well as romantic partner, on the morning of January 17th, 2014. They found knives outside. Neighbors reported screaming. Prosecutors say Avery and Monifa Sanford believed they were demoned assassins and brutally choked and stabbed Avery's two youngest children, Norel and Ziana while performing an exorcism. Avery, in the beginning, told investigators she blacked out. It was kind of like a blur, she said, not recalling what happened. And family members say they feel guilty, saying that there is a history. The mother, sister, other relatives, they all have or suffer from mental illness as well. In court, we're being told this case could go until tomorrow. Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Thank you. And last January, a judge found the other suspect, Monica Sanford, not criminally responsible on those similar charges, and they committed her to a psychiatric facility.